Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkonya and I'm also known as Ndinai Ja. Ja, Ja, Ja. Y'all please excuse the nail situation. Uh, I have not taken these things off yet. These, yeah, whatever. Okay, so it's time. It's finally time. I've been procrastinating for a while, but I would like to add up my debt payoff for the year 2019. Yes, it's important to know how much we paid. Okay, so in my previous video, I did a mid-year debt balance, so I think I should just label this end-of-year debt balance because these are, this will be what I had for the end of the year 2019 end of year debt balances now I have a list up here which is just slightly out of frame that you all can't see I have a list to tell me what I paid when and I have that in my tracker for um, uh, I think I'll call it my bills and debt tracker. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Because I have one that's not in Excel. That's back here. Uh-oh. That was a little, a little too short, I must say. Okay. So this is what my 2019 bill tracker came out to look like. I figured out all my bills and everything that I paid. I love this spreadsheet, <laughs> but this is manual, right? This is manual. You can do this with anything to track what you have done or what you have paid over the course of a year to sort of see where everything is. So we did that at the beginning of the year. These are the debts that I had and I'm going to no. No, Sam's Club wasn't there because I didn't have a Sam's Club debt at the beginning of the year. However, I did have Lane Bryant. I had Care Credit. I had Amazon. I had the IRS. I had a credit card. And I had my car note. So by the middle of the year, I had 12,800 left for that. And then my car, I mean, sorry, car note, not car note. Car note was 12,800. Credit card was 4,400. IRS was 3,900. And all of these did not, in, do not include uh, interest. So if there are any interest payments on these, I just put them into the payment for the next month, if that makes sense. So Amazon, I was owing $1,200, Care Credit $230, and Lane Bryant that. So between then and now, maybe I should still have that as a zero. No, I'm not going to do that. So Lane Bryant continued to be zero because I did not add anything to that. Care credit, I paid that off, let's see, for my trusty spreadsheet, which is just out of frame. Okay. I paid that off in August. I paid that off in August. So that was $230. And then Amazon. So let's see, I had this was end of July 2019 so I'm going to continue from the end of I'm going to start with August 2019 because these numbers here are from January to July all right so August September October November December Amazon what did we do Amazon what did we do okay we paid sixty dollars in August four hundred dollars in September and three forty seven seventy five 
in October, I have $807.75. Hmm. Which is odd because my spreadsheet tells me that I paid off Amazon in November. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I paid it off in November. So that's eight oh seven seventy five. And then let's subtract. So eight oh seven seventy five. Twelve hundred minus eight oh seven seventy five. You see why y'all have to update update your spreadsheets you guys update your spreadsheets okay because i paid this off in november not october and this is what no i didn't pay it off in october in november i paid it off in december i didn't write the amounts but in november and december this is the total amount that i paid off i paid that the irs total of that i'll call it about six hundred dollars so August, September, August, September, October, November, December. I paid $500 in, I paid $500 to the IRS and I was left with about $3,400. Do you, do you guys realize what I just did? <sighs> My bad. This is supposed to be zero. This is supposed to be zero because these are balances. This is not the amount that I paid. These are the balances. All right, then for my credit card. So I had left 4,400 and then I paid, let's look at that, August. I paid $150 in August and then I paid 152.51 in September. And then I paid 148.02, okay, in October. That's interesting. And then I paid 150 in November. And then I paid $200 in December. So my balance was $3,599.47. And and then on my car, we have 12,800, which is 12,800. And then in August, your girl paid 350. In September, I paid 350. In November, I got a skip. No, in October, we got skip and pay, skip a pay. And then 310 in November and then 350 in December, which left me with $11,440. So I was not able to get under 10,000 for my car note, which was my original plan. So let's see total debt balances. 11,440 plus 3599 and 47 plus 3400. So we have $18,439.47 total, um, total debt paid. That means between December 2019 and July 2019, I paid, I'm going to call you minus, I paid $22,530. And ninety dollars and fifty three cents. Okay, not bad. Four thousand ninety dollars and fifty three cents between August and December twenty nineteen. Okay, which brings us to a total of. And I'm not sure why this this is fifty seven thirty four right there. The next thing that I would usually do is to update these right here. So I paid off care credit and I think I wrote that down. It's telling me that I paid Amazon off in October. Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. I think I bought something that I returned to Amazon, which is why I paid that off. I was able to pay it off a little faster. The IRS, we're left with 34 
spaces. Yes. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Oh, it doesn't seem like a lot. So that's done. And then we were left at 3599 and all of these boxes are $100 each. So that is 3000 1 2 3 4 5. I'm going to call it 600 because it's 3599. Okay. Looks like I updated this maybe in October. All right. And then the credit card. No, that's the car note. Car note. So that's 10. That's 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This one is updated. And that's it. That is my debt payoff. Ah, I don't know why I was avoiding it. I was avoiding doing the whole totals of it, but at the end of the day, I would say that I stayed committed, I did well, a whole bunch of things happened, but I was still able to pay off debt, I had to rebuild my emergency fund, my baby emergency fund twice, no, I had to rebuild my baby emergency fund once, so it's just one of those things, people. You just have to keep plodding, keep plodding. And that's it. That is it. We have a total of, I'm going to use this number because that's what came from my previous spreadsheet, 5734 plus 409053 for a total of, and I will write that in pencil just in case after I recheck everything if there's any numbers missing. And then I will write it all in pen when it's done. Wow, can't even draw a straight line. 98, 24, 53. Okay, okay, that's good. If I add that to that total, which is from 2018, 16, no, that will be incorrect. That will be incorrect. In order to get in order to have this accurate, I would add this 16, 101, and 77 to this 409053. That's how much I've paid since 2018 when I started tracking. So that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.